Hello runners and welcome to another movie review spoiler talk. Still got no name for those kind of things. I think I did a couple of them by now. As usual I have a background game because I'm too lazy to edit. Put stuff for the <laughs> actually for my only review that is actually the worst for that like, that overdrive. I think guys literally zero. I think nobody watched it, which I find hilarious since the movie was so mediocre and forgetful. It probably bombed up up box office. But we will be talking about the Dark Tower, which I just saw today. And I have to tell you, I liked it. I had no clue. Hmm, it's like Dark Tower, alright. Look the trailers. Alright, cool. It actually looks some like this gunslinger that with these like cool pistols that do all this crazy shit. Some magician, this mythical world, like some fantasy. And some cool technology. Pretty much fantasy, right? And it seems so cool to me. It's like, alright, cool. That looks interesting. Then I no watch a couple more things. Oh, that's actually a series of books. All right, cool series of books. So their adaptation. I had I literally had knew nothing about the books and adaptation and stuff like that. Right, I knew nothing about them. So I went in as a guy who never heard about those things. And I will say the movie was really entertaining and for me it was refreshing. In a way, right? Okay. <coughs> and uh, watch a couple of like other reviews and see what do people think and you no know, look at their criticism and see if it's uh, you know, warranted. Yeah, I totally understand why. I think definitely fans of the book would not like it because it seems to, from what I understand, not be any of the books and. Stuff like that, so yeah. Remember this stuff that alternates from the you know core material. People get eh, kind of annoyed with it. Like, like it did just a little bit of Warcraft. But I think that handled it way better, and way fewer people got annoyed with it. Say put it that way. And uh, so again, this is spoiler talk. So we're gonna talk. Our spoilers. The movie was 100 minutes long, which for me, after watching so, so, so many Marvel movies, like all these really long movies that take two hours and fucking half, and they just slap you over the face with so much things. This was really nice to for me. To get into this new world, not know anything, the movie interests me more into the world, and uh, <coughs> being so short, the pacing was like bam, 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 stuff just keeps happening. Which I heard that that's like criticism that that's not really a good thing. But after getting that just fatigue, uh, in quotations, of course. Sorry, slight interruption. Where was I? Yeah. So having a really short movie with really fast pacing about something that I didn't know and I just want to like impress me so I can care, right? I think I did a pretty good job of that. It was actually really cool to see. Oh, that's this thing. And yeah, it was overall a really enjoyable movie for me. And so for example, these two things that I found awesome. The action, even though I do say action, like, I really like action, like, pretty easy enjoyable. I am notoriously uh, known to really enjoy some really okay movie, okay movies that have just nice action, an interesting lore and world behind them, and some cool characters that have some pretty good acting that's if I can get just that in like the okay movie I will enjoy it 100% right there's no question and this movie gave me that little bit I will, I will say it just gave me that and a little bit more which is always appreciated and uh, <coughs> 
One second. Get the bar. Um. Yeah. So this action. I think the action this movie was top notch. It was one of the best I've seen. The seemed like a gun scene. We've seen like Western movies like they do like some trick shot with their guns, but this one was this was fantasy. You could go full, full awesome with your guns and the gunslinger character by played by Idris Elba was amazing. Not only he as a uh, as an actor was really good in this role and made things awesome. He really displayed like with the action like guns like, awesome right if you use them properly in the action movie and like everything ricocheting everywhere especially the last fight I'll talk about that later was some of the coolest like gunplay ever of course said that magic element with Matthew McConaughey which I I never knew I loved this man so much but I goddamn love this man he was such a cool him playing this magician for all this crazy magic I think he played it really well and menacing and I think he did the role really well in my opinion see what you want about him I think he not at the park in this one no again like I think remember when I saw Matthew McConaughey uh, you know, everybody knows him for a alright, 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 Matthew McConaughey, hey, right? We all know him for that. But actually, I never actually seen so seen him in the movie be this good. Awesome. <coughs> so the fantasy element, so the action first, how the magic and the gun slinging worked. Uh, I thought it was good, right? I have literally no complaint. But I think they did really well. And um, the action is good, like top, especially the scene where bullets are reflected back to uh, Idris Elba, and he, I think his name in the movie is, oh god, I'm really bad with names. Ah, uh, can't remember. Can't. Ah, oh god, I'm so bad with names. God damn it. I hate myself for this, by the way. I think this sh garbage at like actually getting the right names. It's frustrated to say the least. Um, God, I can't remember. I just call him that character. I just see more bullets are getting reflected by him, and he uses his gun to block bullets. I never seen something as cool with did with like a gun. It was amazing, like, I was like really impressed with it, that's just a part of like some really cool things you can like use a gun for, you know, show how cool it can be. I think they used it quite well. So action was above, like, I was just seeing it for the action for me would already been enough, right? But, <coughs> so what's the other caveat? So one of the caveats is excellent. Now, what are the other caveats? Well, we have... Um, we have cool lore, right? Cool lore and cool word. So the lore in this movie seemed really interesting to me. Even though, if, because the movie was short, they didn't give um, they didn't give you too much lore, which I fully expected at least. Um, I mean, because it was so short, I didn't really expect to have that much lore, which is fine if it just interests me enough that I want to see more, and I really want to see more after a cool display. So the main point I want to get across is like. If you can give me some like dope, which is that word. Give me some pretty dope action, not action, fuck, a really dope uh, word that I can get interested in. I'm 
Like even give me small bits, I'm fine with, right? And can they give me just enough to make this really interesting? So let's talk about what we have here. So I have this world where it might there's multiple worlds, like you know, like with like the mythology with Thor and stuff like that. Like there's like multiple worlds, Asgard, Earth, stuff like this. You know, like multiple worlds. And so multiple worlds it all seem from you know, like rat people, they seem really vast, right? And at the middle of all of them is a tower. And this tower apparently uh, apparently protects all the realms, like they're like in a circle. All the realm gets protected by this like pure death and like they have like couple of scenes they show them with like these like demons that are really horrifying and disgusting that their wounds can like kill you, right? Like either someone gets stabbed in like one of the action scenes and it's like he's getting infected with it, right? And just get like they get to like hospital when they in our orbs like hepatitis A, B, E, you have some like tetanus and like and like seven or eight diseases you just got from that one thing. Right. It's like uh uh really disgusting. So they're really scary. And that was just like whoa so cool. I want to really know more about this word and just you put in the background this really awesome word that I really want to know more about. So the lore and the world was already awesome. Right, awesome, really cool concept. And we have really cool characters. We have the, this little boy that he sees like he sees some visions that of action that happened or probably not that long ago. Uh in um in their world, in the world where the tower is. And he sees all of them. And then this Matthew McConaughey is the men in black. Uh, people they are like going after kids to use their like you know kills them and use their like scream and pain to destroy the tower. And he's like one of the strongest ones and goes after this kid. Tries to find him. And he everybody thinks this kid is crazy, so he went on a search and finds to like finds like a band of house through a portal and gets him to this world. Finds either Selma, he's like the counseling of like the people who are who swore to protect the the tower. Like that's their thing. They have to protect the tower. And after he's dead, they had like a big fight against the main black, and they failed. So almost everybody died, except Interselva. That's that can repel the main's black magic because his magic is pretty much teleport, uh, instantly kills people. It's like b black touches them and then they burn. It's just like stop breathing and then they stop breathing. It mind controls so this guy's powerful as fuck. He does almost everything. Like now that's a scary villain. And uh, <coughs> he uh <coughs> oh boy. So Idrisalba just has this quest of revenge, he like he kind of knows that the world is gonna end him. All he wants to do is just to kill the many black for killing his father. And uh, his character is played really well. Like how he is going on a quest on revenge, but then realizes there's some more than just killing this guy, just saving the world. It's like people question if he's still the gunsig or not. The kid, they they have a bond together with the kid. The kid really trusts in him, like he is a gunslinger. Have some 
ups and downs this character, but them, like as a duo, were really cool. They have on the background, uh, black man, mate, black man. Oh my god, did I just say that? The man, <laughs> motherfucker, have the man in black. I mean, black that keeps calling uh, either Selba old friend, and I don't think they were ever friends. I think that something that a villain is something like old friend because they've been battling for such a long time. I, again, I don't know the books, but my interpretation from it, they, they were really. They didn't show in the movie that they had ever a bond, they just hated each other. Like, Major McConkey's character was bad just to be evil, to rule the world. He was just evil, right? I thought it was fine, like, I don't need every villain to be this, like, really complex character, right? I can deal with this just being an evil guy that's really menacing and awesome, right? When thinking back to, like, Jesse Guardian of the Galaxy, the people didn't like that villain because he was lame, shit! He was so lame! That was... That character's problem. He was lame. Nobody liked him. That's, that was the main problem right there. Not, it was not even menacing. It was just like a dude. Like, cool. Nobody cares about you. But this one, he's like menacing and really cocky. And I like him as like just a villain for just being an evil person. I didn't mind that. It was good. It's fine, serve though. I ate it because they they keep having this interaction. He and the gunseeker having these interactions with them like makes things a bit more tense. So we have cool characters. There's some really cool lore. Awesome performances and some amazing ass action. Now the things that most people tell, <laughs> tell about the movie is they didn't give you enough. Which yes, I do think they yes they should have give given you more. I do agree with that, right? Yeah, more. It would be really nice, you know, just give you a bit more. Like a little bit more about the world, they have these portals to go towards. You know, just if you add just a tad bit, like tell me a, a bit more about the demons, right? Those were like really cool. Just tell me just a little bit more about those. Tell me a little bit more, like under development for the villain, especially. Again, he was like evil for the sake of evil. We've added just like. One, like, I think even one scene, I think would have been, like, sufficient enough to just, you know, give me, like, sorry, like, I just had a brain fart, just give me a good enough, like, better impression about him, right? Not too much, just one scene, like, a couple more dialogue lines to tell me about more about him, would have been pretty nice, right? Manning was fine. Again, it is also really short, which they could have used more. I think there's also a mother character, I think she's pretty well fleshed out. I see too much problem for her. The dad was an asshole. Seems to be a recording thing with like stepdads. <laughs> They're always assholes. Don't know why, but they are. <laughs> and, um. What other characters? There aren't really not that many characters. Just like at this point, they get to this village, just people hiding there. Maybe we could have spent like one more scene in the village, tell me more about these people, just a tad bit more. Right again, I think people just wanted just a bit more, right, out of this thing. Maybe they were asking for like mountains, stuff to add in, just a bit more. You should percent of people. Like just a bit more. Uh, was a hundred minutes. 
like another 40 minutes. Uh, ten, ten, 10 more minutes, I think we've been fine. I just add 10 more minutes, and I think the move has been like really good, right? But uh, it did like a, that's a good job, and I don't think it's like an okay, like a 5. I think it's like more of a 6. I give it a 6. 6.57. It's in that area for me that doesn't know the book, right? I don't know the book, and I thought it's a good movie that I really enjoyed, and I do recommend people to see. And yeah, this is my movie review. Spoiler talk. Oh, okay, oh uh, yeah, let's talk about the uh, scene where. Okay, spoilers. You know this by now, where he kills the man in black. I. That was awesome. So they have like this, like. Do not kill with your weapon, kill with your heart, use your mind, stuff like that. It's pretty cool, it's like the Green Lanterns, uh, signs, whatever, right? Really cool. It does. He goes up. He shoots a bullet, by now like, this the man in black just go like, take objects, push them, use them like shields, block all his bullets. Really hard to kill. So he does, shoots a bullet, the man in black goes with one hand to block it, the other bullet he uses, shoots like a pole, and usually when he does that the main black just stops it. But this time he shoots that, and instead of like going after him, it shoots the bullet in mid-air and in the bullet that was hit ricochets into his heart which was the best thing I have ever seen in such a long time it's just awesome that's why I really enjoyed this movie it was just some really cool stuff and I enjoy it I might even read a book if another movie doesn't come out fine maybe I'll actually read the books they seem cool anyways Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next movie talk. Bye-bye.